Hey guys, another video for you. This one is just a little vlog. Uh, recently, me and my wife purchased a small little uh, 10, 10 foot diameter, uh, 30 inch tall swimming pool to use for our kids. Filled it up the other day and, uh, well, really cold. Obviously, garden hose. So, I made a homemade pool heater using copper pipe. Let me put my coffee cup down. The way this works is obviously you get a fire going. I have some copper tubing. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little kinked, but I'm still getting some water flow, so I'm okay. But I almost wish I didn't actually unravel the whole thing. Should have done is just unravel just enough to attach my garden hoses to it and leave the rest all coiled up just right here in the middle where I could get the bulk of the heat. But it's uh it's, it's warm. The water coming out of here, nice little flow. Definitely warmer than the water that's in the pool. The way I have it pumping is I got the pool pump on, just kind of filtering the crap in it anyways. And I just tucked the garden hose down into one of the, or into the return line of the pump. Don't know if you can tell by the turbulence, there still is water flow coming out of this pump. And just a nice little trickle of heated water coming through here. Now the hotter, the bigger the flame, the hotter the water coming out. So, just a little redneck ingenuity at its finest. You can kind of see the condensation accumulating on the on the actual hose, the copper piping. You can hear the condensation dripping. Just a couple of hose clamps and an old section of garden hose that I was getting ready to throw it anyways, because I had too many leaks. And that is coming out nice and warm. And we may even actually get a chance to use the pool today. Who knows yet? I'll probably come back and check on it in another half hour or so. Reposition my coils. Directly over the flame. And there we go. Redneck pool heater. I might even try and wrap these coils even tighter and just stick it directly into there. Maybe get another section. And try it again. Feed them maybe through the bottom of the thing and just keep the coils in there permanently. Who knows? This might be the better option. Maybe I'll even go get a thermometer and actually test the water temperature. But I can tell you that's definitely hotter than the pool. I'll leave that and just let her burn. Catch you later.